Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Imperator, the Imperator Road? My Age of Wonders playthrough, even, as the Amazons, I'm not going to re-record that start, because that's quite funny, where we are building up and we are preparing for a big battle. Now I've had a bit of a think about this, guys, and we're not actually going to do this battle, um, simply because it's, it's not, it's not sure, it's not a sure enough thing. So we are going to go away and ravage their territory to try and pull them out of there so we can take them one at a time rather than together as a big group because if we take them like this, it's not a sure thing, basically. And we, we want it to be a sure thing. Um, I know we're a little low on energy. I do need to up my energy production as time goes on, so... We're going to keep working on that. But no, basically the key thing here is... I'm just not comfortable enough that we will win this. So instead, we're going to go and hit all of their bits and pieces around to try and pull their armies out. Well, energy production is my big thing, and maybe we're learning things here, but we should have got more energy production. We've not really ever got to this sort of massive, you know, big stage before, so... Can I? I'm not friends with them yet. Enough yet. Ooh. No point in not completely and utterly overwhelming them, guys. So we're just going to keep basically burning everything around their settlement to start with. Do I get anything if I raise it? No, nope. No, I'm not going to raise it actually. Because we do still want to take that colony long run. Which will give us access to Kirko units, but... Hmm... I'm going to keep on the energy production for now. And certainly once this comes up, we may look at doing something a bit different. Got another one. Oh wow, that's a bit better. Okay, let's start producing that because that'll get some more energy. That we are currently running at quite a large deficit for energy there by doing that building, so. Here we go. 
And by doing this, we will be actually quite seriously reducing these guys, so... This isn't necessarily a bad thing. Energy production, please. Oh, um, there you go. That's going to get turned into an energy producer too. Right now, energy is our big issue, actually. We still have people unhappy, um, which I'm still not quite sure exactly what does other than make pops slightly likely to, you know, yeah, yeah get rioters, which is probably causing us a few issues. Potentially build up and go look at that settlement there, which is slightly weaker. Issue here is we don't want to necessarily hit here. Happiness event and colony. I mean, we can go to martial law, which would potentially fix it, but... Uh... But that lowers our production. But we do get constant events here. Uh... Need more happiness buildings. That's extra per happy person. So per happy person really would give us a lot. Oh, no, we've got colonist care. Any of you got any ideas about this? Uh, oh, yes. I know I've just stopped what I was doing, but... No, you're all waiting until we're all ready to go up to that settlement. Okay, that's a bit better. That is an auto, though. We'll potentially take some losses. Oh, wow. We took a lot of losses. Actually, no, we didn't. But we now have a settlement here. Uh, which means, potentially, yes. Um, my great colony population of this colony to Amazon... It will become an Amazon, whereas if we absorb it, it stays Kirko. Uh, so we'll migrate that colony. Uh, but we've got to hold it for a while, so... That's fine, and we gain all of that, so that's quite a big buff for us.
You know what? Let's get the other T-Rex, uh, the dinosaur lasers into here before we move it up. Just uh, rejigging my forces slightly. Mm -hmm. Bit of extra tech, please, actually. So something I have learned is that actually the happiness buildings are really important. Yes, thank you. Oh, bugger. So yeah, they're, they're coming back in force. Um, like I said, we've got a good force here, so... Let's swap them around so we've got my better people forwards. this one. I've got a worrying feeling I'm not going to win this battle, guys. Um, oh, these are defensive? I hadn't realised. These are part of the defences of the base. Cool. Why don't you have a gun yet? This is a bit of a tricky one because we are more melee focused than them. You guys can start heading over towards the centre to help defend a bit more. Because this flank is where we're going to actually struggle a bit. Not sure we're gonna win this. This is gonna be a tricky fight, guys. Uh, maybe I should have auto, shouldn't have autoed the previous one, and we might have done better. But I'm not, 
I'm not a fan of the Amazon tactics, and I basically I think the Kiko really um, counter them nicely, actually. So um, could be just the way I'm playing. I suspect when I get the Amazon get far higher level, and you've got you know, so you can just be far more aggressive. But low level, I really am not a fan of them. Those things are evil and have to die. Speed all this up a bit. Ah, okay, they automatically engage. I don't have a control over them. It's still useful. I thought I had control, direct control of these, but apparently I don't. Okay, that's a good place to shoot. Enemy down. I'm less likely to hit them, but taking them out. Oh, beautiful! Oh, whoops. Wrong person. There we go, provide a little bit of a uh, defensive buff. Okay, here they come. Yeesh. That's a foolish place for them to have gone. While they may do some damage, we will shred them. That's it. I say that. Oh god. Okay, I'm a little too clustered. Yuck. energy to use any bloody um, abilities at the moment either. Even if we win this, the issue is we're probably going to lose long run. Because they've got more armies to get in here. That's fine, maybe I just need to spend some more time building up before we come back. I really wish I could control what they shot, shoot at.
It's time to norm. Enemy destroyed. Trying to finish them off. Oh god, I missed and hit my own things. Be at peace. Oh, for god's sake. No itself. That was a silly move. Oh, whoops, I follow a second. <laughs> Enemy destroyed. Things aren't looking good, though we've taken out a lot of their really nasty Hero lost. guys, so. Uh, um, but they've still got their heroes, which is our big problem here. Oh, I hate those things. That's why I was trying to take them out. They actually do a scarily large amount of damage. I need to get him forwards and in. She's bad. This ain't going well, guys. But, well, we, we may need to, um... Yeah. I really wish I could control what they shoot at. It's fine, if we lose these armies, we can start rebuilding from scratch, so... It gives us a chance to Enemy get ourselves destroyed. set up much better. Enemy down. Now that's good. So that's going to panic a lot of them. You know, you're just going to charge forwards, I know you're going to die, but it's just to try and distract them. Oh, come on! Enemy hero down. Nice, because he was using absorb pain. <laughs> oh. 
appear when we're lost. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Eek. Things could be worse. We're still not doing great. I need to take out hero their hero lost. next. That's the big thing. Um, and we may be able to devour him. Yeah, their pliers are what are causing us the biggest issues. Come on, turrets! Go on, shoot at the same one. Shoot at the same one. No, that's bloody useless. I don't know how they choose their targets, but I think it's just generally what's closest. Enemy annihilated. Enemy destroyed. Enemy down. Mm -hmm. that first. Oh, I used to sleep by mistake. I meant to scan him. Unit down. We're getting there, guys. Slowly. Unit oh, down. they took out one of my turrets. Two of my turrets. That's horrible. It, but Enemy we still killed. got the heal. And now he's not going to be gaining all his shiny heals. Enemy hero down. The issue is, while we may have won this battle, we're not going to win the bloody next one, are we? Enemy annihilated. That said, we had no defences. Our forces Most are of our defences weren't there, so... We Woo! We didn't lose much. We are severely weakening these guys, which is good. Um, they're probably not good enough. Upgrade the energy sector. To be fair, I should probably really be working on defences here, so it's not a huge issue. Happiness event and colony. See, I don't think we're quite at the point yet of wanting to engage martial law. I don't see the benefit of it, because we just lose everything. Um... 
What do we gain from that? Oh, upkeep times 31. Okay, maybe we do want to be turning that on. It doesn't actually change the upkeep, so... Activate it for a turn just to see what happens. <sighs> so I want to try and take them up and around. So he is actually happy. Don't want to go too close to there. So that's the sector limit. So how many is that? One, two, three. Ah, four. So you can only have one, two, three, four sectors. Good to know. Uh, I'm going to dismantle one of those sectors because actually... I want food, I want energy production instead. So the sector limit is four. I was never sure of that. Um, that's fine. I'm actually quite happy with what we've got there. I think we've got an energy sector here. Though the uh, ocean sectors are really good because they provide all sorts of fun things. Because um, they produ produce a whole mix of things. You can definitely get turrets underway, because you really should have our best defense. Our ancestors dreamed of this arc. Nice, right, more happiness buildings. Ooh, that's not bad. the energy then. Now the 
if I auto this, I can just take people off, can't I? Making them idle, which doesn't really help. We have one happy citizen! So yeah, happiness is definitely something... Uh, damn growth. So, oh, it's not going badly, not going great. Here needs more public order. Fine, I don't need any kills to spell it yet in the moment. Here is now mine! Nice! Huh. Huh. So we do have that. An energy sector there. Do colonizers take some of your pop away? Yes, so actually we should be throwing colonizers out. Left, right, and centre. Oh, what's going on? Defences, defences, defences. Oops. Dinosaur with guns. Dinosaur with guns. Why do you not have a gun? No, that's not going to be good versus them. Or a hand weapon, to be fair. Oh, what's that? That's a Kirko thing, isn't it? Nice! We're going to use that instead, then. Same as we appear to have lost our bugger. The Amazon spirit enhances all living things, granting grace and strength. The trees awaken as majestic queens. They heed our song and crush our enemies with the quiet force of the forest itself. Now this, Dame the, Viola it, Dalta, this is the top level Amazon unit, so yeah. I think we're doing quite nicely with that one. Obviously, there's other things to go for. We kind of specialised a bit in missing some things, so let's go and get some low-level stuff now. Oh, wow. That was so cheapy that we instantly got it. Ah. 
We're gonna go take the rest of this areas, this place's control areas in its control. Substantially better now. One day we'll get there. What? So I can't actually get level 8. I wonder if that's a mission thing. some support. Huh. You know what? No, I don't want to. See, see no, they're just going to capture them back. get ourselves the top level ability so we can capture things here. Um, they've actually left here quite undefended, so I shouldn't have destroyed that. Never mind, too late now. So it's potentially worth us turning around and hit hitting however I pronounce that place. Let's go have a look at its defences. As children of the guy... Operations primed and ready. Uh, nice. Ooh. Yes. This upkeep really is the issue. Oh yeah, let's keep upgrading my energy sectors. Happiness. Production ready. It's doing slightly better. Can we actually? Uh... Thank you. 
stop burning off pops. Of course, our military. Right, we've got plenty of time, so let's move them up too. If they start heading back, we can always turn around. Soon we will start throwing out more armies. Oh, yeah. Declining that one for now. Okay. Low risk, so I'm going to auto it. I may regret that. Oh, wow, yeah. It's growth units. I'm not actually that fast. This war cannot be. We are supposed to be immortalized. She promised us. Seems that she lied to you just as she betrayed, betrayed her own people. But I will give you a chance to redeem yourself. Tell me where Bahain went, and I will spare your life. Decline, and we will be forced to resort to other measures, measures to extract the information from you. Not necessary. Ha <laughs> ha. She means nothing to us. A path to power. Nothing more. If anything, we were using her. <laughs> now that she is on her knees, this coward shows her true colours. She left for Avisum Esk. Oh, now that she is on her knees. So that's not them, that's us thinking about her. She left for Avisum SK51. We swear it on our ancestors. Hmm, I believe you. You don't seem stupid enough to continue lying to me. Biomancers, fetch a containment unit. Her contamination must not be allowed to spread any further. No, please! You cannot deny us open skies. Plague cannot be contained. You will succumb anyway. The team of biomancers seals the Kirko inside a heretic case and proceeds towards the biosecurity emergency facility. Although killing that wretch would have destroyed the plague inside her and might have been a more merciful option, we need more information about how this plague works in order to fight it better. Now to pursue Bahane to Avium, SK-51. She won't elude a second time. I think I've completed the mission now. I thought I had to wipe them out completely, not just here. But we still pulled them off by attacking elsewhere, so... So we have learnt quite a few things from this. Uh, this, bat, this one, actually. Such as, actually, you want to expand much more earlier. You need more energy than I initially thought, so you definitely want an energy sector everywhere to be able to project, to maintain a lot of units. Um, growth is still useful, but your core maybe should be energy. Um, and yeah, and um, basically, more colonizers early. They were actually doing slightly better than Intel there. In fact, I'm doing... Oh, Frank Vance is that one. Nope, that's me. I was doing terribly compared to everybody else. So, yeah, a lot more growth. I'm not good at this game. I'm going to put my hands up and say that straight away, guys. Even I am not good at this. Even though we arrived too late to confront Burhane in person, we were still able to foil her plans and contain the effects of her Xenoplague experiments. Burhane should have faced me while she still had the advantage. Now that we have survived first contact with her parasitic weapon, we can study it and adapt our strategies accordingly.
Okay guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, guys. Guys, so please check them out. I'll probably do uh, one of these two next. I know I'm jumping between all the campaigns, but that's just because I want to get everything, everything sorted out. So, well, you know, we'll probably jump on to the other ones next. Uh, probably the um, Syndicate and then the um, Assembly. But, you know... We've got a lot of things to do before we get to this final mission. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I do hope you have enjoyed this.